Hey, welcome back to Good Guardian Canine. Yeah, my darling. Yes, you are. All right, this is the star of that hog video you just watched. This is the bitch that took a long high dive at the second hog and she took it slow motion caught that second hog with the left ear. And this is the second dog that come across the water to catch the last dog. I think you'd have to agree she did the best job of any of them. Uh, a little comment. I'm not going to make this bitch fight uh, a man on this video. I don't think this bitch has one thing to prove about her courage. I, I think the video that you just watched proves that adequately. Uh, with all due respect to the guys that fight the dogs, looking for game to send the dog and so forth, uh, I submit to you that it took more nerve for this bitch to jump on the hog's side than what she did to shake and rattle with them the way she did that it does to get in a dog fight. Uh, it's certainly more dangerous. You saw two dogs get killed, and uh, I mean, in a matter of 10 or 15 seconds, they were dead. This is a rough and dangerous game. As I said before, this bitch has caught 500 of them bad hogs. She caught one, and I wouldn't even have her in the yard if her teeth weren't broke off. And a bad hog's here. She finally got jerked around enough to break her teeth off, but she lived through three years of that, and her day she caught five or six of them. So you got to give her full credit due. <coughs> Another observation at this time. I'm going to make another observation at this time uh, while we're on the subject of uh, catch dogs versus other types of dogs. Now, <clears throat> I have nothing against weight pulls. I'm sure they're a lot of fun for the people that do it, and uh, maybe the dogs do, for that matter. And it's, uh, it's a fine sport for those that like it. Now, I do not breed dogs for the purpose of weight pulls. In the first place, I would think the idea of weight pull dog would be a great heavy draft horse type animal. I'm not interested in breeding. I want more of an athlete than that. And secondly, it gets into something else. Taking this bitch for an example, I would not insult her by asking her to pull a weight. This is a fighting lady. And this strain of dogs is in a way fighting dogs. They are gladiators. They are catch dogs. They are guard dogs. And to me, this is their highest usage. And the uh, usage that I prefer to breed them for. So uh, I'm... I'll do the best I can to breed you a good protection dog, but don't ask me to breed you a weight pull dog. We'll work country boy a little bit a little later. Uh, this is a Scott bred dog. He's got probably one eighth aristocrat, but aristocrat was sired with King Kong, who was sired with Sandman the Great that came straight out of Alan Scott's yard. So, though the dog belonged to Johnson, it was a Scott dog. Matter of fact, uh, actually the best dogs that Mr. Johnson ever owned, he bought them out of Alice Scott's yard. This dog weighs 110 pounds. He's a bit big for uh, wild hog catching. No such thing as a dog big enough to hold a 300 pound wild hog still. He has to be agile enough to try to stay around beside that hog and keep him getting his throat cut or his chest crushed. You're gonna see two dogs killed in this video that weren't quite fast enough. But, uh, this dog had his place with me. I hunted five years to find a dog like this that had a tremendous good straight, uh, virtually straight Scott breeding, but it had this size and this bone to breed up size on smaller females because a lot of my guard dog people want large dogs. I will caution you about this. When you start getting a dog that goes much over 100 pounds, you lose ambition very rapidly. You lose ambition, you lose drive, you lose agility. Uh, really don't do it. Try to stay in the 85, 90 pound range. That's big enough. Uh, nobody's going anywhere with a 90 pound dog hung on you. All right, I'm going to give you a few words of explanation here in the beginning. Uh, these dogs that you see now are what is commonly called bay dogs. These are plot hounds. <clears throat> They're used to run the hog down and stop him, get him to stop and bay him up, whereupon the catch dog is turned loose to catch him. Uh, the purpose of this is not to have a big dog, dog and hog fight going on a long time before the hunter can get there. These dogs will hold them up while the hunter comes up with the catch dog. The catch dog has been trained to catch when he gets there. When he's released, he's going to the hog and catch him. The uh, plot hound is not particularly trained to catch. You'll notice he gets quite brave when, uh, when he's got the hog, uh, when the 
bulldog gets hold of the hog, the flat hound suddenly has an access of bravery. The bulldog turns him loose, the hog, uh, the flat hound rethinks his position and turns loose too. This, uh, these pictures were taken of the outfit that uh, did own Snowbird before I bought her, before her teeth got broke off and I was able to buy her. And these are trophy grade hogs. These are hogs that they'll mount the head on the uh, wall. Snowbird and the other one is a male dog. Male dog caught first snowbirds on the nose. This is Snowbird that you saw a while ago on that hog's nose now. That male dog is with her, but it was with her. And that male dog that was with her on that incidentally is the father of a snow he was one time bred to Snowbird long ago and they've got a young bitch called Sassy that I have on the yard. When you hear me speak of Sassy's father, that is Sassy's father. You uh, will see him again uh, in the video, catching a very bad hog a little later. Oh, my God. 
that gun alone. It ain't worth getting hurt over. Son, we got some excitement here. Oh, that dog killing said it's Sassy's daddy. That's Sassy's daddy catching the second hog now. snowbird working there uh, by herself on this hog uh, that is snowbird I told you there's no dog big enough to hold a hog this size still. Her life depends on being quick footed enough to stay around beside that hog instead of getting in front of him. You just saw a minute ago what happened to the brindle bull that the hog got in front of him. He got shook to death and his chest crushed and uh, sent floating away playing submarine. This dog has got to try to stay around beside that hog if she intends to live. 